Hello, my name is Sue Lewis and I work on Career Palette and I'm based at the University of Bath. And this short video is for parents to show you how schools are using Career Palette and something new called the Pathway Planner to make sure your child gets the careers guidance they need. So why do they need careers guidance? Well, in the past, careers were more like a ladder or a staircase. So you started one position, you moved up to the next, etc. Now careers are more like that jumbly picture on the side, squiggly careers they're called, because there's all sorts of different things that are coming into the careers landscape. So that's why students need to know how to manage this. So one thing that's uh, an interesting fact is that uh, research shows that if you're born after 2002, you'd like to live to 100 and maybe have 17 jobs and several careers in your lifetime. So that's why it's important to, to be able to manage your career. There's also been a huge growth in automation. So jobs of the future are going to be quite different from jobs of the past. You might have heard about the Amazon grocery shop in London where you don't need to scan any of your items. It happens automatically. It, your payment is taken automatically as you leave. And that picture of a heart in a box just shows how now you can actually 3D print organs for transplant. And the dog looking robot, he's called Spot the Dog, and he'll work in warehouses and pick up any items that are required. And that picture on the bottom right is of a driverless car, and already we're hearing about testing going on for those. So you can see that things are changing quite dramatically. So young people need to know the jobs of the, diff of the future will be different from jobs of the past. They need to know where the future jobs are going to be. And these four sectors are predicted to grow medical, health, sciences and care. And obviously at the moment with COVID, that's been a big growth area. IT and digital, all sorts of IT jobs and artificial intelligence coming into that as well. Engineering and construction and the way we do those things. And then, of course, environmental is the big one that we all uh, have to take a role in. So Career Palette is all about giving young people the information, advice and support they need so they can navigate their futures. And Career Palette is actually four zones. So we have a student zone, a reporting zone where teachers can look at what choices young people are interested in so they can support them. An advisor zone, which has got like lesson plans and materials. But there's also a parent zone as well. So that's where you can get answers to questions you might like to know. And we also have a new tool called the Pathway Planner. And this very much is about finding out what guidance your young person needs. And we're going to show you some of these things as we go through. So this is Career Palette, one website with all the information in one place. This is open access. Any student across the whole country can use this. But your students are in schools where they can actually have the benefits of registering on the site, which they do here in the top right hand corner. And then they get access to the career tools. So this is where they can choose the things they're interested in as they explore the site. So they might find a job they like. They can add it to their job sectors and that will be built in their careers report. And the whole idea is they can do this from year seven right up to year 13 and be adapting and changing as they learn more about themselves and their choices. And all that data is then available for the school so they can actually support your child in their choices. There's also the parent zone I mentioned, which you can access here. And there's lots of popular tools in the site, like a search for job profiles, and you could look at course searches or apprenticeship vacancy searches. But one thing we try to do is show students a process they can return to every time they make a career decision. And that's our three stage process here. Start with you, what are your motivations and interests? Explore your options in some detail and then plan your next steps. Students can also look at a particular pathway they already are interested in, find out advice and support about moving on in that pathway. So just to show you our start one, which as uh, section one, start with you in this section are all things to help students find out more about themselves, their skills, their jobs, a subject that they might be passionate about. So they actually know more about themselves and that can help them think about their next decision point, which is about how you explore your options. And in career part, you can see you can look at options by age or my choices are 16 or by jobs or courses or apprenticeship vacancies and various other ways as well. And then when you're ready, you can look at your full report, look at your skills maps, see what you've got to offer. 
and be planning how you're going to move on to your next stage. You can even write little action points all about helping you manage your career and think about what you're going to next do next to take your career forward. So everything leads towards a big report that the students can have. They can download it and send it to you so you can have a little look and they'll have a lot of information about the choices the students are interested in. If uh, an advisor, a careers advisor has written a report, then that will appear here for the student to see as well. So after guidance, they have a summary report and that will be visible here. And that report moves up every year with the student. So they change as they develop. So year seven, students often think very different things from when they're in year 11, 12. So that was Career Pilot in a very quick overview. But just to tell you about the Pathway Planner, which is a new tool and your school might well be using it. So I'm just going to show you how that works. Because we want to try to find out what guidance your, your individual young person needs, we've got a three-stage process that we use as part of the Pathway Planner. So number one, the students get a whole session on all the options that are available to them. So they're year 11, it'll be about what's going to happen uh, post-16. If they're year 12 or 13, it's about what's going to happen post-18. Part of their session is to complete the Pathway Planner. And this is where we'll ask them what pathways they're interested in. They could change them later. And they do a little quiz and that shows them a red, amber, green score about how ready they are for that chosen pathway. That data is then available for career staff so they can actually look at what the needs of the students are and allocate guidance at three different levels, red, amber, green. Then the guidance will take place and the report will be added to Career Pilot. And then about four weeks later, a tutor will just check in with the students to see if they're happy about their choices or whether they've changed their minds or need additional support. So to wrap around all this, and make sure nobody slips through the net, tutors can refer a student for additional guidance. The student can refer themselves. There will be a drop in within the school once a week and uh, they can also request an e-guidance response to a question. So there's a whole process, if you like, to make sure the students get the information they need and the support they require through careers guidance. So just one thing we'd say to students through a video, we've got a nice little video to just explain the things students can do to manage their own careers. And in our video, which you can watch, it's just on our homepage, we've got four key things that we tell students. You can know yourself, your motivations, your interests, your values. Do stuff to build your CV and your skills. Know all your options in some detail. And then use all your supporters, that's the parents, the school, all your friends, anybody else who might be able to help you on your career's journey. That video is available on our homepage. So the Pathway Planner, just for you to see what it looks like from a student point of view. They click on the Pathway Planner. It asks, it shows them the pathways they can choose and this depends on age. They do a quiz about the ones they're interested in. They'll ask them questions which help us to see how ready they are for that pathway. Have they got the right information? Have they done the things they need to do? They'll get a red, amber, green score so they can go back in to Career Pilot and find out the answers to things they weren't too sure about. But that will help everybody to get the guidance session that they need at three different levels. Green, amber, red. Then guidance will be booked for them, different levels of guidance according to the needs of students. If they propose an e-question, that will be recorded here as well. So the students will have a timeline showing where they were when they did the pathway planner on a particular date. So this student was two reds and an amber on the 28th of November. They handled a long guidance session. They were asked to edit their responses to the pathway planner and now they're green and amber. So it's all about trying to support students so they're in a good position to move from wherever they are currently into their next stage um, provider or course. So if you have any questions about the Pathway Planner, we have a helpline that's available from 9 till 3 every day in term time, careerpilot at bath.ac.uk. 
So thank you very much for listening. I'm hope I'm sure your students will benefit from using Career Pilot and also the Pathway Planner and get the guidance that they need matched to their particular requirements.